And call the meeting to order. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. There is one addition um, added to the agenda um, under discussion action items to include the authorization of Lisa Wright to represent the town in the Marino Little PVR appeal hearing on March 6. Is there a motion to approve the agenda with that change? So moved. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Motion carries. Review of the minutes for January 23, 2023 meeting minutes. Is there a motion to approve those minutes? So moved. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So approved. Next is the VCDP public hearing. The town is considering to apply for $60,000 in VCDP funds, which will be used to accomplish the following activities. To produce a site feasibility study, architectural engineering plans, code compliance review, and an environmental analysis for light industrial use activities at 5256 Main Street. I'll just add that um, Travis Samuels, one of the co-owners of Zion Growers, tried to get admitted, but it looked like he got kicked out. So we'll give that a second. Uh, but but I, can, I can just brief the board. We, we, we did this once already. Uh, I think it was last spring. The application was not uh, so funding was not awarded the last application cycle. We believe it was probably due to risk. <coughs> the, big, the biggest risk being was that this, the purchase of the building had not been made yet. Uh, since then, the town's been in, um, in contact with the state and the VCDB representatives. And again, we feel like we have a competitive grant for this submission cycle. And oh, here we go. It says Travis is joining. Oh, admit. Okay. All right. And there's Brandon. Brandon, can you can you hear us? Can you hear us? All right. Yeah, I can hear you guys. Okay. I'm okay. Yeah, I can hear you guys. Perfect. Yeah, so I just gave the board kind of the formal spill on, on, our, um, on our latest application and then what we plan to submit this time, which, which mirrors that of the one we did in the spring. So, um, so just because of the policy of the state and the grant that we've got to hold this hearing and I thought it'd be a good opportunity for anybody to ask questions to uh, Brandon or Travis on kind of where they're at um, in their phases of uh, their business model. And Lyle's also here, you know, to kind of talk a little bit about what Cedar has done in support of Zion's efforts. Yeah, absolutely. Does anybody have any questions for? I don't. Hey, um. <coughs> hey so uh, Brandon, last I heard you guys were trying to get some uh, machinery in there and that, that we've got hemp being stored across the street from us already. Uh, yeah, correct? absolutely, that's correct. So we have um, about five acres from our test crop from last year. We have like a certain breed of seed that we just wanted to see how well it grew in Vermont and it grew very well. <coughs> um, we still have some of that stored um, in the building. And uh, this year we actually plan on doing like a full on crop. So we have a few hundred acres of hemp programs to grow uh, this year whenever it gets warm. Um, and currently we're working with um, VCLF and VSECU to finance um, our first piece of machinery. It's about $400,000. So they're going through the final stages of the underwriting right now. So, you know, fingers crossed for things, you know, we'll, uh, we'll get money for uh, funding that machinery. We already have a contract in place for 
uh, the manufacturer to, uh, it's basically actually manufacturer refurbished. So there's another company who bought it a couple of years ago. Um, you know, they're not doing the hemp processing anymore. They're actually out of Canada. And so I reached out to them and they were willing to sell us the machinery for, um, you know, a, a bit of a subsidy. And um, we're going through the actual manufacturer, who's a stateside company out of Colorado, to basically do like a, a, a factory refurbishment and then sell it to us. So um, there's a couple of benefits of that. One, we don't have to wait nine months for a machine, a brand new one. Uh, and two, we pay about half the cost. So that machinery runs new almost $800,000. So we're paying about half of that. Um, so that's kind of where we're at. So ideally, uh, around April or May, we'll be processing our first hemp bill um, out of the 52 main building. That's awesome. Excellent. Great. Anything else anybody have? No? Yeah, so Brandon, I'm not sure what the next step is from here. I think we might have to get um, the board's approval to submit another grant uh, uh, application. Uh, we've got a little bit of time. If that's necessary, I think we've got a little time. Um, and, and, and again, if necessary, we can, I can present that to the board at the last meeting in February. For, I believe an April application it sounds like an April yes. submittal okay mm -hmm. all right okay well I'm good then all right well thank you very much absolutely let's move you guys have any questions uh, Mike you have our emails feel free to reach out anytime okay thanks Brandon I guess good luck going have forward a good night. thank you <clears throat> all right just quickly my book my name yeah. I know Brandon's stepping off there but what I wanted to come tonight just to thank you for going through this process it's nice to see, um, and it takes staff time, but it's nice to see the community uh, supporting the process. And if this grant doesn't come here, it would go someplace else. So it would be great to have it come here and not to some other town outside of Berlin County. Um, it will and has taken Michael's time, so I thank him for the, his effort in, in that. And he'll need to oversee that in a small way when it comes in to make sure the money gets where it's supposed to be. And he has some reporting that goes with that. Um, so it, it does go with some effort. And we very much appreciate your support. Um, they are leaving no stone unturned as far as other grant opportunities that are out there. They're applying for a CRRP grant through the state. There's a $40 million pot of money out there that, of course, everybody's going after. Uh, but they've applied for that as well and we have small grants that we're making available. So hopefully all of that put together um, is really gonna make it blossom here. So thank you for your support. Thank you. Thank you for your help. Yeah. That's the only reason I came, unless there's something else out here. You know. <laughs> well, if you find something else of interest, then. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you. <coughs> Any open public comment? None. Anybody have any good stuff? Uh, one of our operators passed their wastewater exam, which means that we are just about totally in the clear now. Um, Dan Protovansky uh, worked his last shift last week, and that was one of the um, deals that we had made with the state through this whole restructuring process, was that Dan Protovansky were to work six months, eight hours a week, so that we had a, um, a designated operator on staff, and we've fulfilled the timeline and I just kind of want to extend a great deal of gratitude towards him for stepping in and filling yeah, that role for us. Yes. Dan's a, a great guy. Hard worker. Well, and he, he even offered, he said, if we ever needed help with anything else like plowing snow or something, he'd be willing to do it. So. Yeah. Well, he was out doing overtime on Saturday because we had a water main break in Rutland, so he was out there fixing that. So. All right. Is there a motion to go out of the select board meeting into the Board of Water Commissioners? So moved. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Field Street Pump Motor Monitoring. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to just go ahead and kind of wrap up um, the most of my Water Commissioners report here, which isn't the same as the, as the report that the um, DPW foreman gives you. but. Uh, the engineer and services agreement for the asset management plan has been created by A&E and is under review by the state. Uh, 
after it met my review. And so once the state has a look at it, it'll come back to the table here and the board will have an opportunity to, to examine the document. Uh, and then the Field Street pump, the, no, the motor's been shipped to the manufacturer to check for defaults. Uh, Rod's motor repair ran a diagnostic test with ANE and found that wires were improperly stalled inside of the control panel. Gear, Gear War Electric came to the following came the following day after A&E's inspection and found that most uh, this is most likely the cause of the motor failure of the last few years. Uh, and A and E does agree that the wiring could have been the cause, but the motor is still running below capacity. Uh, I've reached out to DNK for feedback since they were involved in the system design. That's so, great. Yeah. yeah. Even wonder, yeah. Gremlins don't don't hear, yeah. <laughs> Have we heard anything from GMP? Did they get that uh, recorder on there? I reached out to DPW last week and they hadn't put it on there yet. So our expectation is to follow up with them on it. Just wonder, yeah. That was an interesting uh, day down there, or morning. Yeah, very good. Yeah, and um, and I think A uh, and E was trying to recruit Rod's motor repair from underneath of us there at the well house, and I tried to put a stop to it because he he was pretty thorough with his investigation of the yeah. equipment, which I appreciate to have someone <clears throat> local like that around. Yeah. So uh, I th I definitely feel like we're on the right path, and hopefully Du Bois and King will have have that uh, water model to me here in, within the week. To, to streamline A and E's review. Anybody have any questions? Okay. Is there a motion to go out of the Board of Water Commissioners and into the Board of Sewer Commissioners? So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Motion carries. RF one three two five one wastewater treatment plant upgrade. Yep. So the the new loan is called uh, what is it called RF one. 325 and then uh, one, one, is, one is for the phase. So we're only in phase <coughs> one, which doesn't require a bond vote. Um, that won't come until we're ready for design and implementation. So I've presented the board with the uh, contract agreement and if, if everyone's reviewed it and is ready to approve it, then I'll be seeking a motion from the board to submit that application to the state. Anybody have questions regarding? Do you want a motion now? Okay. Is there a motion to execute the RF1-325-1.0 loan agreement to finance the evaluation and planning for an upgrade to the wastewater treatment facility? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you. Anything else? Okay. Uh, Annie's coming, I believe, this week to, t to talk to the uh, operators about the scoping study and collect as much data as they can. And, uh, and uh, this happens periodically, but we, we've got, um, there's been, it appears there's been some turnover at the state and there's also some new permits. So I've been getting a lot of emails from them on update this and we need this and this is coming down the line. And, and it does take a good bit of effort on meeting their uh, unfunded mandates as I'm kind of considering them now. Yeah. So it's been taking up a little bit of, of, of time um, away from kind of my other managerial duties to figure out how we're going to meet the expectations of the state, which they would say we're meeting the expectations of the federal government. Right. But, uh, you know, it rolls downhill. The problem is, is when they have turnover, that you don't continue from, like, the point you're at. You go back again because yeah. you have to reiterate everything to the new person. So. Right. Yeah, it's it's usually basic information that I'm they've got to have on file somewhere. Well, you know, how I many am. pump? Hey, mm -hmm. how many pump stations do you have? And it's like, well, yeah. they've been yeah. around for right, a while, right. so they've got to be somewhere. I but told the last multi guy. copies of all that stuff. Yeah, they're just making us do their legwork for them. Yeah. So I we, I try to manage that work appropriately. Michael, uh, our lagoons weren't equalizing there. We were having a pump between them. Is that? Maybe look, getting that freed up. Uh, uh, 
apparently there's a history to that. And a and &E even says that Wayne has the old pipe in his office that they removed back in the day. It was like a 12 inch pipe that connected right. the two lagoons and the bottom was eaten out of it. Right. And it's a mystery on how the bottom got eaten out of the material because none of the chemicals we use should have done that. So he's got, I don't know, anyway. So that's kind of a long story in saying that the pipe that we have in there now uh, doesn't appear to be designed correctly to manage the flow between the two lagoons. And A&E is well aware of that and knows that it'll, it'll be something that should be included in the upgrades. Yeah, but it was amazing to see how the old bottom of that pipe was. Oh, did you see that? Oh, yes, yes. Um, nothing else under the Board of Sewer Commissioners. There is a motion to go out of the Board of Sewer Commissioners and back to the Select Board meeting. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Town Manager's report. Thank you, Madam Chair. It was quite a long sheriff's report, so I'll make it quick with my managers. Uh, the annual reports, uh, Repro was very pleased with our report submittal and was able to print them early. Uh, Kyle drove them to the post offices in Rutland, and they should have been delivered to everybody in town. I got mine. Good deal. Uh, we, helped, we, had our, uh, we had our Zahn Growers BCDP meeting today, tonight. Um, uh, this will probably come up, but according to the, to the invoices, uh, the town has purchased 400 tons of the 850 tons of salt that we budgeted for. Uh, so we're, we're doing pretty good, and we, I know that the town was uh, kind of wary of going into this year with the price of fuel as it was, and we had not predicted that when the FY23 budget was created. So. Hopefully, this surplus offsets the deficit that we would see from the fuel costs. Yeah, our overtime should be less than it. Mm -hmm. yes. so. Yeah, half as much. That's amazing. Yeah. Yes. Fuel, fuel as well. You know, they're not out there yeah. having to plow. The only counter to that is the fire department has had to leave the station quite a few times this year. So I have seen that their fuel is a little higher than it has been in the previous years. Hmm. All right, so the South Street sidewalk update. Uh, the town's attorneys reviewed the draft easements and they're currently under review by VTRANS. Uh, after that review, I'll get a few signatures from landowners. I've spoken to a few landowners as, as well. Uh, the town has taken great uh, effort into making sure that we um, mitigate any damages to the trees along the four dresses that we need temporary easements from. Not saying that, that it will happen, but thankfully those landowners don't, be t don't seem to be too concerned if the trees are lost. Uh, I, I thought I'd be going up against the opposite with these negotiations. Yes. So that's, kinda, that's, that's good for us who, who want to get a sidewalk through there. Uh, class two highway grant applications are available and the town will begin the process um, of submitting those here soon. We had, we had a company come and fitted the crew for uniforms. Uh, they come for weekly pickups. Uh, since the cost is, is over 2000, we'll, re, we'll uh, visit this into the discussion action portion of the meeting and the board can make a decision on whether we want to provide the service to our employees. And um, I believe that concludes the highlights of my report. Thank you. Any questions? No. Sheriff's report. Any questions or comments on that? I had one little question. Mm -hmm. Page two, the fourth line down from the top, 1900 to 2030. It appears he. Uh, is at the high school at a basketball game. So maybe we could get that. That that has happened in the past, just a billing error, I believe. Like inside watching the game? <laughs> that's not a case number. That's <laughs> one of the benefits of <laughs> maybe letting them out for traffic control.
All right, nothing further? Okay. Discussion, review the bills. Everybody look at the bills, sign them, yes. correct? Okay, these are signed. I'll put them over there. Yeah. All right, Marble Bridge LED conversion. We're looking for a motion to accept the verbal quote of $4,650 to have LaFosso Electric Incorporated retrofit the marble bridge lights to LED. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. That's a good yes. price. Yes. Yeah. A lot less than Relative. That's a good price. Okay. And we were going to, I don't know if we'll be able to, we're going to see if we could tone them down just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to see if he can get kind of a warmer luminosity. And, and I, watch there, whatever. <laughs> I, I did ask him, too, if it would change the look of them at all, like the hardware, and he told me it wouldn't. <coughs> so what you got on there is what it'll look like after he's done with the retrofit. Do you have any idea when he might be able to do that, fit us in? Yeah, he was acting like it's not going to be the biggest job. I'm sure. On Earth, so uh, so I'd hope it's pretty quick. Yeah, I can give an update to the board. I'll, I'll talk to him probably tomorrow. Give him an update, and I'll follow up with you on it. Okay. The DPW Uniform Services. We're looking for a motion to accept the Unifirst Customer Service Agreement. There's already money for it in the budget, right? Yeah. We're just uh, checking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so moved. <clears throat> so a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. All right. Next is tax appeal representative authorization. Looking for a motion to authorize Lisa Wright to represent the town in the upcoming property valuation and review hearing on March 6, 2023. Mm -hmm. So moved. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, motion carries. All right. Is there anything further to discuss? If not, we're looking to move into executive session. Pursuant to 1 BSA Section 313A1 concerning mediation between Green Mountain Power and Proctor. Is there a motion to find that premature general knowledge regarding mediation with Green Mountain Power would clearly place the town at a substantial disadvantage if discussed in the public? So moved. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carried. Is there a motion to enter executive session to discuss mediation with Green Mountain Power under the provisions of 1 VSA Section 313A1? Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. We go into executive session.